YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video, back on installment of Wishlist Wednesday. So glad to be back on YouTube. Took a few days off just to kind of take a break. It was much needed and uh, uh, well received. So today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys some of my most recent pickups. I went to GameStop today and picked up a few things um, that I'm going to show you guys. Um, and also I got in a package from Funko. So I'm really excited to open that up and see what we got in there. So let's get right into it and see what we got. Here we go. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're new to this channel, welcome and hit the subscribe button down below as well so you update to my most recent content and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So if you're first time tuning this segment for Wishless Wednesdays, what I like to try to do is just uh, show you guys my personal pickups, um, things that I've been looking forward to add to my collection and so on and so forth, um, like outside of mystery boxes and stuff. So uh, today I went to GameStop, like I said, I have that program or whatever they have where you get a $5 coupon every month so that you're able to uh, get a $5 coupon every month and I think it goes for every, every month for the whole year. So uh, today was June 2nd, I got my most recent one. Uh, so I went in there looking for Funko Pops. I didn't see any Funko Pops I actually wanted. Um, everything they had were the ones I saw last time because I just went recently at the end of May to use my coupon. So I didn't pick up any Funko Pops up. Um, but you guys know, if you know, follow me on my second channel, I'm heavily into Pokemon right now. And it's not just stopped with the cards. So I got, I'm in the deep. I'm in the deep, guys. Um, I'm not sure if I'm proud of that or not. Uh, but I picked up two plushes. <laughs> um, so I've been collecting... Uh, the Pokemon uh, like the 25th anniversary shiny plushes. So I picked up two of these. Um, I got the shiny Magikarp. So you guys can see the shiny just because of the uh, tag right there. It shines. And uh, uh, the colors on this one are a little bit different. There is a expense, like a really expensive Magikarp plush that came out back in the day that I remember it was uh, a little bit more gold, like how the like the card was. And uh, but that one was really cool. They were like what 15 bucks each or whatever, so kind of pricey for a, a plush. And I got the Jigglypuff shiny one too, which is obviously different than the shiny Jigglypuff. The shiny Jigglypuff has just green eyes, um, but you guys can see the tag is the like shiny or whatever they have. So uh, pretty cool. They're pretty rare. Um, I do have the Stardust Charmander, Bulbasaur, and uh, Squirtle as well as Pikachu. It took me forever to find those, so they are pretty hard to find. So anytime I track one of the shinies down, I pick it up. Um, and I also picked up this as well. Um, it was on the clearance rack and. In the spirit of getting plushes, I picked up a Funko plush. Uh, so this one's pretty cool. I do have a lot of the Ad Icon uh, plushes, but I did not have this one. So I got Sunny the Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Um, so this one's pretty cool. As I said, this is a Funko plush uh, right there. It's got the GameStop exclusive sticker. Um, it was on sale for five bucks. So I guess this is what my <laughs> five dollar gift card went towards. Um, but pretty cool. I do have. Uh, the Toucan, Tony the Tiger, and Digum Frog. So trying to get a bunch of these because I have the uh, Ad Icon serial display case over there. So it's going to match up with my Sunny the Cuckoo Pop. So very, very cool to, to nail this down. Um, I haven't seen too many of the Funko plushes in stores. So um, I see them at Target pretty frequently, but I only really want the Ad Icon just because I stumbled across them at one time. And now having them in the collection in the display case is pretty cool, um, but pretty dope. Um, really different thing to show you guys, but I decided to show you guys anyway because it's what I picked up today. I went in looking for Funko Pops, but came back with plushes, which is a little different. You know, I collect a little bit of everything. So, like I said, I did get a package though and have some Funko Pops to show you guys. So, really excited to open this up. Now, this package from Funko is the uh, new Stitch Pop with the, the record player. So uh, this is one of the first pops I can imagine that I know Funko's done in maybe a year was a Funko Shop exclusive that had a chase. The last one I remember was the uh, Huckleberry Hound, which is a 10 inch one. I did a chase roulette for that. Go back and check it out if you want, but I can tell you guys you're gonna be as disappointed as I was because we went, I think 0 for 6 for the Huckleberry Hound. So uh, this stitch, we're only you're only allowed to get two, so I only have two chances of getting a chase. Uh, the, the chase, the regular one is stitched with his mouth closed, and then the uh, chase is with his mouth open, I believe, or vice versa. So, hoping to get that. I know this is one that people, a lot of people were excited to get. Um, it sold out pretty fast. I think the 
resale market is going pretty crazy on these two. So I'm hoping to get this for my collection so I can put it back there the Disney stuff. And um, either way, it's an, like it's a memorable moment from the movie. So either way, having a common's not too bad. So let's see if we can get the chase. Hit that like button down below for some chase good luck. And let's see what we can get, guys. All right. So first one here, you guys can see right there. It's uh, Leland Stitch, record stitch with Chase. Let's see if we get lucky. All right, guys. Is it in the case? No, it's not in the case. All right, so we got a common. All right, so here's the first pop. Um, like I said, not a bad looking pop at all. If you guys saw the movie, um, Lilo and Stitch, I like it, not a lot of people do. People are kind of on the fence on it, but apparently Funko loves it a lot because we get like a Stitch every other week. Uh, so this is the newest Stitch that they made. Um, I have two back there, so I'm not really going all the way down the Stitch rabbit hole. Some of them are cool. There's actually one I still want um, that Mr. Snow in his neighborhood did for his top 10 Disney Pops of all time. We did a collab last week. If you haven't checked that video out yet, make sure you check out that video. But that Stitch Pop is pretty cool. But this one from the movie uh, is Lilo is playing with him or whatever. And the record player, when he touched it with his mouth closed, it didn't play any music. And when his mouth opened, music played. So that was the whole um, gimmick they had there. And that was a cool moment to put um, into a Funko Pop, which is weird because there's so many other characters from that movie that Funko loves the movie so much, but they only seem to love Stitch. So, um, it's cool, but I, I hope this is, uh, the last Stitch we get and we'll hopefully get some more of the new character, uh, some new characters moving forward. Um, but all things considered a cool pop. I don't know why when this released, initially I thought it was going to be a 10 inch pop. If you guys remember the same thing as me, drop it down in the comment section below. But when they did like the New York City Toy Fair or whatever, I was under the impression that this was a 10 inch pop with the chase. But maybe I was wrong. Maybe I imagined it different, but maybe they changed it. Let me know if you guys remember the same thing as me. But it looks like the first pop we have is a common, which is unfortunate, but still a pretty cool one for the collection. All right, guys, so number two, hopefully we can get a chase and complete the set and um, see what we got. All right, guys, I'm a little nervous. So normally when I do these chase roulettes, I have at least like five, uh, four or five, but this time I only have two. So let's see what we get. I'm not gonna feel to see if I can see a sticker or not. We have a common. Oh man, so I struck out, guys. So I don't know how, you know, common uh, people were getting the chases. Um, they're obviously, the ratio is normally a one out of six. Um, maybe it, Funko would not give you a complete set if you just ordered one, maybe you got luckier. I don't know, let me know what you guys got. If you guys tried your luck with the Chase Roulette for Stitch, but we have a two common pops right here. So unfortunately we do not have the Chase, but um, you know, maybe I'll use this for a future giveaway for some trade bait or something like that. Um, like I said, this pop did sell out pretty quickly. Um, so it was a pop people were willing to take a risk on because it was a pretty cool memorable moment from the movie. And uh, you know, it'd be nice nice chase set to complete because it kind of um it does complete that scene one without the other kind of uh almost as pointless so maybe i'll track that one down i don't think i'll be able to chance to order through funko so i might have to pay the resale price on it but that's all i have for you guys today just a little quick, quick chase for that and show you guys my most recent pickups from gamestop so let me know what you guys thought if you guys have been lucky enough to get any of those shiny uh, uh pokemon uh, plushes in your collection if you're collecting them at all let me know in the comment section below the, the chances are you probably aren't but let me know if you guys are and uh, let me know if you guys got lucky with the stitch uh funko pop in your collection as well so thanks so much for watching as always guys i have some other cool things planned for you guys I was able to regroup and I have a lot of ideas for you moving forward so stay tuned for those and make sure you subscribe if you're new check me out on instagram at the pop savage you want to stay connected there too and also my second channel at savage breaks if you're interested in pokemon and sports cards Thanks again for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Until next time, I'll see you later.